Uh, to, uh, to the gentleman from California, Mr. McCarthy. The gentleman is recognized for 10 minutes. <laughs> two minutes. I, I thank the gentleman. I appreciate the extra time the speaker tried to give me, but that's all right. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in opposition to this conference report. You know, at a time when California has 12.4 percent unemployment, and my district's even higher at 16.5, in my home county of Kern County, my constituents are asking me what's being done to create jobs. For the folks that have been following this debate today, this is just another example of Washington not listening to their concerns. Instead of policies that promote private sector job growth, this bill would create more government. This bill before us today would create a new bureau at the Federal Reserve with sweeping authority and a budget to create plenty of new government jobs in Washington, D.C. It also creates a new office of financial research, empowered to collect personal information about our, our, all of our financial transactions. This office can actually issue subpoenas to get the information these unelected bureaucrats want to have about us. But aside from the personal concerns we may have about this, what is being done to help create a private sector job? Well, this is not job creations for families in my district. This is just part of the majority's continuation of an overreach and expansion of government. First, it was the $787 billion stimulus that failed to keep unemployment down, then a national energy tax, then a $1 trillion government takeover of health care, and now another expansion of government that will raise costs for consumers and small businesses. Well, Mr. Speaker, Republicans offered an alternative to this report that would have ended bailouts, have addressed too big to fail, and the failures of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. But that was rejected. Congress needs to be focusing on pro-small business policies, policies that make it easier for banks to lend to job creators that are at the heart of our communities, job creators that are at the heart of what we all want, a job-filled recovery, instead of a jobless recovery. Unfortunately, this conference report will do none of these things, and I urge a no vote, and I yield back.